Um, yeah, so I wanted to ask you about, um, you're on the Transportation Committee and you work on um, airline security mm -hmm. legislation. And um, you had a bill, I remember you talking about it, that you were very proud of about the TSA pre-check program. Mm -hmm. um, and then you, uh, I believe it was the day before the markup, got thousands of dollars in contributions from the airline industry and the very next day during markup changed one of the major provisions of your own bill in the way that the airline industry wanted it to be changed. And I'd like you to explain that to voters why you did that. That is an outrageous statement. That is outrageous beyond belief. I have chaired the Transportation Security Administration since the moment I came into Congress, the Oversight on Homeland Security. I've become one of the foremost leaders in all of Congress of keeping you safe while you fly. To think that I would somehow be in, in be, um, influenced by something like that is ridiculous. I don't remember exactly what you're talking about, but I can tell you one thing, I've never been influenced by anybody in my life. And for you to say that, it smacks of desperation on your part. How do you explain taking thousands of dollars in contributions and the very next day changing a provision in your own bill? I, 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 there's no way that there was any connection between the two. And a lot of times when they make, when they make donations, I don't even know about them. And the same can be said for you. You received $430,000 from Nancy Pelosi's cronies in San Francisco, and, and, and you want me to tell us you can vote for it for speaker? I mean, come on. I mean, th we can draw, we can draw, we can draw these, can, these things back and forth. It is an outrageous statement to think that somehow I am corrupted. If anyone thinks I'm corrupted, throw me out of office right now.